So um, Twitter has a, a small VM team, so it's like four people, and we just make sure that Twitter services are running well on the on the on the JDK, the JVM. Um, and we have three HC engineers, and I'm I'm the compiler engineer. Okay. And so what what I do pretty much all the time is um, trying to run Twitter services on this new JIT compiler called Graal. Okay. Uh, tell us, like, what is Graal? Graal is, um, so, the hotspot, the JVM of OpenJDK, mm -hmm. there it has something called JIT compilers, like just-in-time compilers, and the compilers, um, they, they translate Java bytecode into native code that you then run on your CPU, right? And there are the existing, there are actually two compilers, two different ones. The existing compilers are called C1, or client compiler, and the other one, C2, or server compiler. Uh, and Graal is is a, a JIT compiler um, that's basically designed to replace C2, the top tier compiler, mm -hmm. which produces the, the peak performance code. And the main difference is uh, C1 and C2 are written in C++, and Graal is written in Java. I see. So, and the purpose, uh, what is the purpose of using Graal? I mean, and so what's the situation that you have at Twitter right. that makes that really useful? So, there are many reasons, but in particular for Twitter, um, what it what it brings us is our services are almost exclusively written in Scala, okay. and Graal can do a very good job with Scala code. So we are saving uh, mm. roughly around the eight percent mark of CPU utilization across our services and data centers, which means at the scale of Twitter, that's a lot of money. So okay, yes. So, but it, it's also because you have like a large, I mean, a lot of um, applications and you... Yeah, we, yes, we and run thousands and thousands of JVMs on thousands of machines in multiple data sets. Yes, so yes, the scale's big, right. so the saving is big. Right, but I see. So, I, I've get, I gave this talk a bunch of times and, and I've talked to people afterwards and the way I see it is even, even if you have a small company and you only have a few servers, it's still the money you have to spend mm. is in relation to what you know what the income is of the whole c company side it's still right. it still matters right so it's not just be if if you don't have a size of twitter or google or anything it doesn't mean you c you can't use crawl it's it still helps you or so can let's right. put it this way so what did you show in your presentation uh, it's it's basically um uh I'm showing the tweet service as an example. It's the service that reads and writes tweets. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm running this in, in, in an experimental setup. And then I compare uh, a VM that's running with C2 and one with Graal, and, and then how much savings we get there. Okay. Which is in an experimental setup, it's even more, we are seeing like an 11% improvement, which is, which is a lot. Okay. In, in compilers, it's usually... When you when you gain like one or two percent, that's already great, but I mean eleven is like a, a lottery win. Okay. Uh, anything else like uh, recommendations that you, um, if people want to like deploy like a lot uh, of uh, JVM, so what's? Um, it's you have to be aware that it it just behaves differently, mm -hmm. and and that's because it's written in Java. You have to know that it has to do something called a bootstrap if you don't AOT compile it, if you don't ahead of time compile it. Um, you have to be aware that it's allocating Java heap memory instead of native memory. You, you have to know this. It's not, most of the time, it's not a big issue. Mm -hmm. It can be, but most of the time it's not. But you have to know that because, you know, service owners, they're they're monitoring their services very closely. They look at their metrics, and if something, you know, if you use more memory, they, they freak out because they think, oh, memory leak. But mm. so these are the issues that you have to deal with, uh, at, at least at this stage um, of Graal. I'm sure in, in a few years we'll, we'll, you know, make sure maybe even that Java's allocations are actually not be done from the Java heap, you know, to uh, kind of isolate or hide it from the user or things like this. But at this point, y you have to know these things. Okay. So, any other things that you're sharing in your uh, presentation that um, um, you think would... I, I basically, the presentation is about um, my experience at Twitter. Okay. So, I'm there enough a year and a half, and, and, and what I experienced 
uh, over this course um, using Graal and you know wha wha one main motivation why I'm giving this talk is because you know Graal is still an experimental compiler let's call it this uh, although we are using it in production like today the main four services that Twitter is using uh, are running 100% in on Graal in production. So every time you tweet or read a tweet, it's going through code that's being compiled by Graal. Wow. And that, that's been going on for a couple months already. And Kay. I don't think, did you lose any tweets or anything? No? No. No, so everything works. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for us, it works great. We found um, about four bugs, I think. You know, one was not that important. Three were pretty important. Uh, but since then, and that was more than a year ago. And since okay. then, we haven't found any bugs. So what the compiler needs at this point is exposure to other code. So okay. I'm giving this talk to encourage people to try it out. Uh, you know, show them, hey, you can have uh, wins and even wins, you know, in money, which is, mm -hmm. a, is a driver to, if you want to go to your manager and say, hey, we should maybe try this, then the manager says, why, right? And then you can say, well, you know, Twitter is saving a lot of money, so maybe, we should try to. That, that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. Okay, cool. Anything else that um, you want to let people know about Growl? Um, Where to get it? Is it easy to implement? It, so the preferred way of, so yes, two things. Number one, as, a, as I mentioned earlier, JVMCI and JDK9, right? So it's in there. It's okay. also, if you download uh, a JDK9 build for Linux x86, you ha already have a Graal version in it. And that's because the AOT feature in JDK9 uses Graal. But that's only on Linux. Uh, on Mac, you don't get it. But since you have JVMCI in it, you, you can just grab uh, a Graal copy on GitHub, build it, and then you run with that.